Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Bava. I thought that I might play a quick game of Standard, um, which we don't have on the channel very often. I have this uh, deck here, which I guess I need to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. I need to adjust my forests here. Um, this is uh, This happened with one of the updates to the wide beta. The land got a little funky for whatever reason. So let's add some forests. We've got ten of a couple of them. Um, I'll take ten of these, please. <clears throat> okay. And we're good all over again. So you can see we have some ramp here in terms of Arbor Elves. Um, some growth with giant growth rancors, um, little hexproof protection, and uh, the tracker, which combos really nicely with the predator ooze, uh, dryad militants, uh, a little bit of removal and growth here, um, wandering wolves, go great with rancors, strangle root geists, abrupt decays, predator oozes, and dreg minglers. In the sideboard, we have um, hand disruption, some more removal, uh, enchantment artifact removal, uh, charms, and then some graveyard hate, and uh, pitting needle. So this is our deck, and we're just going to jump into the tournament practice room over here. And we'll play Zoro. Mono red practice preferred. All right, we won't play Zoro. We'll play Dinshua. <clears throat> and this is a it's a pretty good aggro deck. It's also pretty resilient against other aggro decks and uh, does well against everything except Angel of Serenity. I hate that card. Um, but I've managed to beat Control through three board wipes because of indestructibility and um, undying. So it doesn't particularly care if they wipe the board. And if no, uh, Din takes too long. Okay. Um, I guess we will try this. It's not blazing fast, but we do have two of our two drops. And this is a budget deck um, for standard. Um, I think I had some of the cards already, but it ran me about uh, $50 to put this together. So we are, all we see so far is swamps. Um, and my biggest disadvantage here is that I have uh, no clue what the current standard meta looks like, so I don't know what my opponent is going to do with all those swamps. Is there a mono black deck going on? Um, there seems to be. I wouldn't mind a way to kill him. But we're not going to get one. Huh? Alright. So he's got 10 mana now. That's scary. 
What's he going to do with all that mana? Gonna get another crypt cast. Is that Wow. Okay, so now he's got even more mana than he had before. Frightening. Gristlebrand. Lord of the Void. <clears throat> you can probably get some extort on there if you wanted to. That's interesting. <laughs> and we get an Arbor Elf. If that doesn't just beat all, hmm. I think we need to stay aggressive. giant growth to us right here. It's too bad. <clears throat> this deck can win a lot with just uh, a giant growth or two at the end. Uh, surprising your opponent. Um, essentially a lightning bolt to the face. Mono black value deck. Nighthawks. 7-7 seven, seven flyer. This is looking bad for us. <clears throat> All right. For a mill seven, he's going to get a creature. Wouldn't even get my elf. He got a strangle root geist. I get a predator ooze. Doesn't do much for me, Mr. Predator Ooze. Alright. We'll go to game two. He doesn't need to know about my predator oozes. What do we sideboard against you, sir? That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Ultimate price is good. Non-creature, non-land card. That's no good. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Titanic growth. Um, all right. We'll take out the Rangers, Kyle. <clears> hmm. <throat> One of the abrupt decays. All right. <clears throat> Do 
Here we go. Double predator ooze. I'll keep this. <clears throat> So we have Strangle Root Guys next turn, uh, followed by the Predator Ooze, followed by another Predator Ooze. These guys win games on their own. Okay. Now I have a three two. He's what, digging for land? That's no good for him. Um Why are we waiting? You have no land. Predator ooze, that's who you should have used your tragic slip on. Alright, so we're going into game three. Yeah, stuck on one land. Um I think our choices are still good. <clears throat> um he gets to play first. Oh good, we have some ultimate prices. Um, it's not as aggressive, um, but we can kill stuff. Uh, this guy is so good with the predator oozes, just love it. Uh, he's getting slipped. Okay. Wandering Wolf goes well with a Rancor on him. those crypt gas we can now kill them. Because Lord of the Void we can now kill it. Because a vampire nighthawk we can kill that too. Um he can just make us sacrifice a creature. He's playing a bit more controlly this turn. Crypt gas now? Or is he just gonna kill my guy again? He's gonna draw a card. What's he getting? A Nighthawk? Yes, sir. It's fine. We have removal too, sir. Blood gift demon. That guy's gonna die too. I'd like another land so I could rank her. 
Um. <clears throat> All right. Lots of swamps for you. That's uh, quite the spell to kill my singleton wandering wolf. It's all up to the arbor elf now. Can he get there? Will he die? Mutilate. Yes, yeah, so I get my ranker back. Okay. It's all up to my dryad militant now. There's a lot of creatures in here. He's going to have a hard time singleton killing them. That's his plan. Hard casting Lord of the Void. Okay, Doc. Well, we're not scared of him. That's his last card. He's out of cards. Ha! So long, Lord of the Void. Um, Dryad Militant or keep Giant Growth up. He doesn't have any cards in his hand, so I'll take the Militant. Though he could easily draw another Mutilate or Sever, and that would suck. Hmm. But he gets a Nighthawk. Good. That works with our last uh, bit of removal in our hand. And he did not draw what he needed. So, this is my Golgari aggro deck for standard. Um, as you can see, it works pretty well. We have the, the removal where we need it, um, as long as we don't get swamped or keep stupid hands like in game one, um, and don't draw any removal, which would have helped. Um, it does pretty well, I think, and I've actually had pretty good uh, success with it. I haven't run it any dailies or anything, uh, but it's pretty fun. All right, well, thanks for watching Magic Gathering Strat. This was Bava playing uh, a little bit of standard, so I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.